Woman hammers down her wall to unravel the source of weird sounds inside her house. Hallucinations are common and can happen to anyone. Often people feel scared to go into an empty room because they feel that there might be some invisible spirit roaming in the dark room. But nothing of that sort happens in real life and everything's just our imagination. At least that was what the protagonist of this story used to believe until one day she was forced to hammer her walls down to know what was hidden behind those bricks and get the surprise of her life. It was a normal day in winter when the lady of the house entered her apartment after a long day at work. She had lots of things going on in her mind. She had to pay the bills, help the kids with their homework, and run errands too. When she entered the house and switched on the light, her kids surprised her from behind the door and she too acted surprised as usual. But she didn't know there was another surprise that was yet to come. She asked about their homework and school while she unpacked her bag. The kids told her the whole story and ran to their room to rewatch their favorite TV show. She too started to make a list of all the groceries she needed to buy. Suddenly, she heard a weird cry from another side. It had been days and she was constantly hearing those cries. A lot of times she tried to find out what it was, but unsuccessfully every time she tried. She was fed up by those weird sounds and wanted to know their origin so that she could end this torture once and for all. Many times she thought that she might be hallucinating and there was no such noises in real. Because it was she who was hearing these noises and no one else. But today she was determined to find out the reason. Would she be able to find out? She sat on the couch while the noise still continued. Her mind was roaming in all the directions thinking of all the possible reasons behind the voice. Though she never believed in supernatural stuff, these noises were shaking her beliefs now. Then something clicked in her mind. What was she thinking? She knew her kids were mischievous, but she was aware that they wouldn't do anything just to annoy their mother. She still thought they were playing a little prank on her. The woman went to their room to surprise them instead. Were the kids making these noises? She tiptoed to their room to surprise them, and as she entered through the door, she was dumbstruck to find her kids sitting peacefully on the bed watching TV. Her mind had stopped working for a while, and she didn't know what to do. She came back to the living room where the faint noises still continued as she sat on the couch again. Who was making such noises if it wasn't her kids? While she was still thinking about the noises, it stopped for a while. This made her more scared. Her mind started to run in every direction about what could be done. She thought of telling someone and picked up the phone to dial her neighbor's number. She heard another faint cry as she dialed the number. She wanted to be sure before she involved someone else so she thought of asking her kids about the same. She called them in a trembling voice. The kids came running inside the room to check if everything was fine. They were surprised to find their mom sweating with fear. Would she be able to tell them the reason for her distress? She asked the kids if those noises were audible to them too. Suddenly, the faint cries had stopped. The kids couldn't understand what she was talking about while they nodded in disagreement and their mother too thought she'd lost her mind. But when the kids were going back to their rooms, they too heard a faint cry in the room and got scared. They couldn't understand where the noises were coming from. The kids and the mother were looking at each other while the faint cries grew to be louder. They ran towards their mother and stood beside her. She told them that they need to find out the origin of the noise somehow, so asked them to disperse in every direction in the house. This seemed to be the only way to find out where the voice originated from and solve the mystery. She, along with her kids, dispersed in the house and followed the noise. After a while, they came at one point in the house and were sure that the voice was coming from behind the living room's wall. There was a television behind that wall, so they thought they'd probably first check if the faint cries were coming out of the television. They checked every nook and corner inside the house but couldn't tell from where the faint cries were coming. Now the lady of the house was frustrated. It was a rough day at work and now these cries were annoying her. But she knew if she didn't find the source of the noise, she wouldn't be able to sleep. So she thought of another plan. She was constantly thinking about what she would do. Then suddenly she went near the wall from which the noise was coming from and put her ear against the wall to hear it more clearly. She could now hear it more distinctly. Her mind was full of thoughts and questions. I need to do something, she told herself. She was sure that something was hidden behind the wall but she couldn't understand how it possibly could remain in the wall for so long. 
and now she knew that she needed to rescue no matter what was inside the wall. The cries grew louder, and now she couldn't contain herself from finding out what was inside the walls. Would she be able to find out? It wasn't that easy as it seemed to be. To know what was hidden behind the walls, she had to break it. It wasn't a decision that could be taken without thinking, but she had no other options, too. So she called her kids and asked them to bring a hammer. Would she break the wall? She was ready to take the risk, but another thought came in her mind. She thought, what if something dangerous was hidden behind the wall and just in case it attacked while well, she was breaking it? But she had to break the wall anyway. So she took the hammer in her hands and positioned it to knock down the wall. But first she needed to figure out certain things. She knew the point from where the voice was coming from, but she couldn't just knock down the place with the hammer. She was afraid that she might hurt whoever was making those obnoxious noises. So she first needed to find a weak point in the wall. She placed her ears against the wall to listen to the noise so that she could know the exact point she had to strike the hammer. Would she be able to take out that was stuck inside the wall safely? She took the hammer from her kids and positioned it to strike against the wall. There were several thoughts that were going inside her mind. She was reluctant to at first, but then she had to do it because she was annoyed by the constant cry. So again, she picked up the hammer with great force to accomplish the task. Would she be able to do it now? After finally making her mind, she started striking the wall with the hammer. She could hear that the source of the sound was coming from the other end of the wall. Initially, she was knocking gently, but after a while, she knocked the hammer with great force and a hole was made in the wall. Would she be able to know it was hidden behind the wall? She had successfully made a hole in the wall. Still, it wasn't big enough that her hands could pass through it. She had to hammer the wall until it was big enough to put her hands inside. The cries had grown louder and were more clear. This made her confident that she'd hammered the wall in the right place. She paused for a while to see the hole that she'd made, but she couldn't waste any more time, so she put her hand inside it. She was afraid to put her hand inside the wall because she didn't know what was inside it. Her kids, too, hugged their mother from behind. Suddenly, her hands felt something, and she grabbed at it at once and pulled the thing out. But sometimes things don't turn out the way we want them to. The woman, too, experienced the same things because when she pulled it out, it was just drywall and dirt in her hands. She doubted it was the right decision to break the wall because she was hearing certain noises. Maybe she was actually imagining the cries and nothing was inside the wall. Just then, she heard the cry and it was louder than before. This gave her confidence, and then she put her hands inside the wall again. She started digging again and this time going deeper inside the hole with the determination to find out the secret of these noises. Now the hole was somewhat turning into a tunnel, but she was completely unaware of what she would encounter inside the hollow tunnel that was in her wall. She was digging the wall with utmost determination, and suddenly she felt that her hands brushed with something. It was small and fuzzy. At first, she thought she'd touched the insulation in the wall, but suddenly her heart skipped a beat. Whatever was inside moved a bit. She was nervous, but she held the thing softly and tried to pull it out. What was the small and fuzzy thing? When she finally pulled it out, everyone was surprised by the discovery. The woman couldn't believe that she'd just rescued a little kitten. It had white fur. The family was astonished that she was alive inside a wall. Now she was wondering how she might have ended up inside the wall. But these thoughts were secondary. She first needed to accomplish the task she'd taken in her hands. She heard another cry just when she was trying to comfort the little kitten that was in her hand. It was then that she realized there were more kittens to be rescued. So she put the kitten down while the kids took care of her. She started to dig the hole again to rescue another kitten. How many more kittens were inside the wall? She wanted to rescue the rest of the kittens as soon as possible, but there was a hurdle in her way that was stopping her from going beyond. So before she could find the second kitten, she had to pile a lot of dirt in the living room and make a safe passage for them. She didn't want to hurt the kittens while she tried to pull them out. After piling the dirt, she tried to put her hand inside the hole again and luckily got her hand on the second kitten. She exclaimed, here comes another one. Her kids carefully held the kitten and were in awe of her color. The second kitten was gray in color. The mother wanted to admire the kitten, but she heard another kitten crying inside the wall. She knew that she had to be really quick and realized she would need certain things handy before she could rescue more kittens. Give me a basket tub, she asked her kid. He ran outside to bring a basket. The kid knew that her mother wouldn't be able to single-handedly take care of the kitten and that she would require some help. So he looked around to find someone. 
would the kid be able to find someone? He wasn't really expecting anyone to be out of their house at this time, but when he saw his Aunt Dottie, he called her out loud. Aunt Dottie was surprised to see him and came running towards him to ask what had happened. As she came closer, he said, Aunt Dottie, come help me. The kid told her everything and they both ran inside the house with the basket. Her eyes were fixed on the door as she was expecting for her kid to come anytime, but she clearly didn't have any time to waste. She put her hands inside the wall again to rescue the third kitten and hoping that it would be the last one. She continued to rip the hole with more strength and within a few seconds, she found another one. Was it the last kitten that was trapped inside the wall? She tried to pull the third kitten out of the wall and was constantly thinking about how many more were trapped inside this wall. Her motive wasn't just to take the kittens out, but she wanted to make sure that each of them was safe and sound. Now her heart was beating really fast as she pulled out the third kitten. She was in awe of the third kitten. The kitten was black and white in color. It was indeed the most beautiful and adorable of all the kittens. The woman was a bit relieved that she followed her instinct to break the wall and rescue these kittens. Her kid too had come in by then and she carefully placed all the kittens inside the tub. When she thought she was done with rescuing all the kittens, she heard another faint cry. The family looked at the kittens thinking that one of them had made the noise, but they were wrong. It didn't take much time for the woman to realize there was another trapped kitten inside the wall. She stuck her arm inside the hole once again to find the kitten. Luckily, she found the fourth kitten too. She pulled it out safely and put it with the other kittens in the tub. Aunt Dottie came running inside the house and was completely surprised when she saw the woman pulling out an alive kitten out of the wall. They were astonished how they would have ended up inside the wall and thought it wasn't less than a miracle that they were all healthy and alive. The woman suddenly ran towards her kitchen, realizing that they must be hungry, and got them something to eat and drink. She was thinking that these little kittens must really be missing their mother, and she hoped if she could find her too. Oh, you're scrawny, exclaimed Aunt Dottie. Oh, so lightweight, she said. Come on, kitty, kitty, kitty. Aunt Dottie seemed to be the happiest to see the kittens and started playing with them instantly. She set her eyes on them. She could feel the softness as she patted their back. The kittens, too, seemed to enjoy the company of Aunt Dottie as she played with them happily. The most amazing thing was the whole scene was being documented by a journalist who the woman had called before rescuing the kitten. The woman was unsure of what was inside the wall, so for her safety, she'd called him. He filmed the whole process, but when the woman had to take out the last kitten, he paused the film and went on to help her. This whole clip went on social media, and as expected, it spread like wildfire that had everything from rescuing kittens to putting them in the tub. But unlikely, the last part were blank as the person who was filming went to help the woman. People were extremely surprised when they saw the clipping, and why wouldn't they be? It was just a miracle. The lady was happy now as she had rescued four kittens and they were alive and healthy despite being inside the wall. And most importantly, she was happy thinking that she wasn't hallucinating. She was proud of herself to have found these kittens and saved their lives. All the kittens were very playful and happy. The kids couldn't stop playing with them and took care of them just like their mother. They'd never thought that something of that sort would happen in their lives. The mother was happy watching her kids and the kittens come together and was just hoping that one day the mother of these kittens would come back looking for them and would be happy to find them safe and sound.